Hi, yeah. My name's Sam, and um, I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about joining our beginners courses. It's a bit of a scary thing, isn't it, Jane? Yes. When people come along to the beginners courses, so we've put together a list of some handy tips and hints that you might like to think about that have come straight from our runners, really. Mm-hmm. Um, the advice that they've given us, things that they told us. Jane, what was one of the things that one of your runners said? They said that some for some people, it's really great to tell someone you're going to do something. You commit to it, you've told them, and that makes you do it. But on the other hand, other people like to keep it a secret. I had two girls who didn't tell their husbands they were coming and ran for the six weeks and were so thrilled to be able to go home and say, do you want to go out for a run? Uh, So they'd hidden it and it kept their momentum going, knowing they got something special to share after the course. So people vary. Some people like to say something, some don't. That's lovely. Um, One of our ladies said that she always thought she wasn't a runner. In fact, she'd done the whole of her 30s thinking, I'm not a runner. Because whenever she had been out trying to run with somebody, she'd perhaps pick the wrong person, somebody who'd yes. gone speeding ahead. Um, I wouldn't say that it's their husbands, but sometimes people go with their husbands and off they go bouncing into the distance and you feel like you can't do it. So in fact, it's really important that the people who support you, hopefully seven eight ladies joggers, yeah. run at the right speed. So joining a group or having a buddy who's the right speed for you is really important. Then you are a runner. However slow you're going, you are a runner. Yes, Isn't that you right? Are. From the very start, you're running with like-minded people, and you're never just at the back the whole time. If someone says, "Do you want to go for a run?" they are runners. Yeah. And you're starting with people who may not be runners, and you're all not runners together. So you all feel the same. That's the main thing about the beginners group. Yeah. Um, set yourself a target, yeah. perhaps something to think about that you want to have achieved at the end. Whether it's a local fun run, perhaps the park run, a race for life, 5K, or something like yes. that. Five k. Don't go thinking about doing half marathons yeah. just yet. It doesn't mean that you won't do it, but you have to have realistic goals, don't you? Yes. Otherwise, it's all too scary and too too onerous. Yeah, it's too far ahead to think of anything long and and arduous. You want to think in small bite-sized chunks. This week, I'm going to achieve this, and by the end of six weeks. I'm going to achieve 5k and it comes upon you Mm. people say they didn't ever believe they could run three miles Mm. and they do just with friends doing it with them Um, any others that your girls have said to you Jane start of every run not just beginners courses the start of every run is harder yeah some people call it the toxic 10 it takes 10 minutes to warm up I know most girls I run with take 20 minutes. Mm. We can do a three-mile run, and they're just getting going after two miles, so they enjoy the third mile, but they really do take 10 minutes, uh, sorry, 20 minutes even, to warm up. Yeah. So because we run in the park, even getting up to the house is only just the start of it. So if you're with a group doing that 10 minutes, presumably you're not going to give up and go home, but if you try it on your own, you'd be tempted to think, oh, it's just not worth it. Yes, exactly. It is hard, and it's not unusual at all to feel it at the the beginning. Mm. Yes. Okay. Um, I think one piece of advice that is a great one we heard from one of our runners is get your kit out the night before oh, yes, and good. at this time of year put it on the radiator so it's actually warm. You want to put it on in the morning. Don't think, oh, I'll do the school run or I'll do this, that and the other um, and I'll come back and put my kit in on because you're likely perhaps not to do it. Um, while we're talking about kit, yes. don't spend bucket loads of money on new shiny kit at the beginning of a beginner's no. course. Having a bra that supports your uh, breasts is really important, a, a sports bra. Yeah. And having ch- shoes, training shoes, that you can run in at the beginning is the most important thing. Other than that, within reason, you can run in whatever you like. You spend money once you've got into yeah, it yeah, a little you bit, might do if that. you want to. Yeah, yeah. But you, you just, even the first day, you know, don't need new shoes to start a course at all. Yeah. We'll look at your gait, we'll tell you if there's something that's striking. The shops in Seven Oaks help you tremendously to choose shoes, but later on, when you know you like running, yeah. you can invest, but don't do it before. Okay, and finally, try and get out more than once a week. Being on an SLJ course means that you can do another run, a homework run, with one of our coaches on another day. So whether you do it like that or whether you go and do the homework we set you, it's up to you. So that was some of our tips to help you think about being a beginner on our beginners course, get you running, get you out and get you confident and motivated. Hope that's been helpful for you and we look forward to seeing you very soon. Bye-bye. Bye.